Welcome to New York City, guys. That's right. Today, adventure is in New York, guys. Um, I came to New York to visit my parents. My parents live in New York, and right now, as you can see, we're crossing the beautiful White Stone Bridge. It's so magnificent and beautiful here, guys. The view is spectacular. Um, you see the um the new york skyline from this bridge you have like such an amazing view unfortunately as you can see the weather is horrible yes guys it's pouring rain as we're um driving into new york it's pouring rain so you can't see too much of the um you know views from the bridge as as this weather keeps on getting worse but um i love to cross the bridge because you know especially in the night you see the new york skyline um just lit up and it looks amazing it's such a beautiful view um guys if you never visited new york if you when you do and if you ever do be prepared for the traffic the traffic is crazy guys it's crazy in new york um i feel like we've been driving forever because we keep on hitting so much so much traffic um that's one thing um they need to fix in new york get an expressway or something yes they need to get an expressway or something for new york you know too much vehicles on the road too much traffic and of course guys um you cannot come to new york and not visit some of their um famous spots um grab some good goodies to eat and we're heading into um queens um queens new york and we're gonna go down to liberty avenue and of course i cannot wait to get there because that's like little guyana and which they just recently named it for little guyana that's where you're gonna get like all your delicious goodies and i'm just drooling thinking about it um this is the drive as you can see guys traffic more traffic more traffic <laughs> yes guys i am not a traffic person and of course guys look at this look where we at look where we at all my new yorkers you guys already know where this is right you know you guys know the famous spot the famous sibyls that's right on liberty avenue you cannot come to new york and not visit sibyls and grab some of your goodies guys so hubby is looking for parking and as soon as we find some parking we're going to go hit sibyls up and grab some of the goodies and guys if you're a new yorker you would know it's crazy to find parking on liberty avenue it's crazy you have to drive around a few times before you can even find any parking okay guys so hobby is doing that thank god i'm not doing the driving ah huh? so um we found the parking and we're in front of sibyls here guys um, there is a line to get in and um, not a big line you still have to wear your mask you know still have um covid um restriction guidelines and we're inside look what is inside guys all the goodies so you see we have some shrimp fried rice chow mein chana um you name it guys macaroni and cheese fried chicken fish sandwich whatever the possibility is endless in here they have such a wide variety and such a big menu guys i feel like anything guys you want they have okay um look at all the delicious different brands of soda and mobby and and ginger beer and all the cream so guys it's it's packed in here the refrigerator is packed with all the delicious goodness and of course i'm eyeing up that cheese because i'm going to be getting a piece of cheese and look at the pastries my kids love the guyanese style chicken patty every time i come here i always grab like two dozen you know the cheese pies to die for and um, they have your your tennis roll your plat bread your salara guys it's so much so much goodies in here and look what we got one big well more than one big thick slice of cassava poon guys and you know somebody already bite into it i don't know who it is and if you never had sibyl chana according to a hobby um it tastes like guy in a rum shop chana i don't know what that tastes what what do he mean by that because i never had guy in a rum shop chana but for all my drinkers you guys probably did um so try their bottle and fried chana 
and um your girl here got some cheese pie the cheese pie is to die for it's so delicious you know i had to bite into it um i wish the cheese went down a little bit deeper into the the crust <laughs> but um hey you can't um be a beggar and chooser at the same time right you what you you just gotta buy it and enjoy it and it was quite delicious guys so it was like one of my favorite um pastries from them along with the um, chicken patty and as you can see as we're driving i'm eating you know i'm eating on the highway yes guys um that's their peanut punch i got grabbed some peanut punch and um hubby got some coconut water that they both were good the only thing i didn't like about the coconut water that it was frozen and when it melts down you know it gets for me it gets a little bit too watered down you know but otherwise it, uh, you know it was good and guys we're back home and i'm laying out all my goodies for you guys so you can see you know what i got and um check out the salt fish and bake guys and i tell them to put loud pepper in mine because you guys you know i'm a pepper mouth it tastes so good and if you never had their fish sandwich i highly recommend it it's delish and i got some pastries for the kids you know they love the cheese roll they're famous for their cheese roll pine tart black eye it's a must you know of course one cheese pie left guys you know i eat out all the cheese pie on the way <laughs> so it was that good and here we have their um chicken patty very 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 delicious um i got two dozen as i mentioned before and this is what it's looking like inside it's so done the the crust outside is so delicious and it's so filled and the chicken is like you know very seasoned and nice and we have one slice of the cassava pone left and a nice big thick slice and this cassava pone was amazing guys it was so delicious and um i got the cheese yes guys i got the cheese and i got tennis roll so you know what's going down for breakfast right it's cheese and tennis roll with a big cup of coffee and we grabbed some of their plat bread too you know the kids love the plat bread when you toast it but overall guys we had a beautiful experience at Sibyl's, and the food is always amazing it's to die for so if you're ever in queens new york do check them out guys do check them out